condivido il messaggio da inviare. Come sto? Come sto qua? Concludo e invio il messaggio. Bene, messaggio inviato. You know, customers don't want to go into a fast food restaurant or into a coffee shop and deal with a machine. They want to talk to a person. They want to interact with that person. They want to chat with the barista and so forth. Uh, but of course, this pandemic has really totally turned that calculation, you know, on its head, really. And now, all of a sudden, there's there's actually some danger or risk associated with interacting with people, and so. Uh, anything that's fully automated, I think particularly where you're dealing with issues of hygiene, preparing food, things like that. Um, if you can keep people out of the loop, that's actually suddenly become not a disadvantage, but an advantage. Stay safe. Stay home. To curb the spread of COVID-19. Gatherings at this point are not allowed. Your symptoms show that your health may be at risk. I would recommend you to visit a doctor. It may go on for so, so long that it actually shifts you know, consumer preferences to some extent so that some of these, these changes become permanent. And of course that, once again, will kind of accelerate this, this movement toward automation. The main message is that there are going to be trade-offs and there are going to have to be a discussion um, or at least some kind of understanding with the public where people decide you know what is most important to them are they willing to sacrifice privacy for security and i think every country basically is going to have to make their own trade-off and they'll come to different answers There are many, many issues there. You know, privacy, um, um, bias, that, that algorithms could be built that are biased against certain groups, um, racial bias, uh, gender bias, and so forth. These are all real concerns, and as you open that box, these are the things that, that come out. Um, and history has shown pretty clearly that it's during economic downturns that companies tend to turn toward technology and become more efficient. I mean, what happens is that they lay off workers, businesses lay off workers for economic reasons, but then um, they're able to incorporate more technology and it turns out that they don't actually have to hire those workers back uh, even when economic recovery goes around. And I think we're certainly going to see some of that uh, this time as well. Is then you can take the skeleton tracking and you can put that on machine vision. Uh, you know, I, I really think that we're entering a new age when 
the ideas that maybe worked well in the 20th century are not going to be viable in the future where where technology just becomes vastly more powerful. Um, and so it's really, in a sense, it is a good thing that these ideas are being brought out and, and people are beginning to be forced to look at them with a kind of an open mind that maybe not, would not have been the case before because eventually we're going to get into a situation where we really need to put these ideas into practice, I think, on a permanent basis.